Hello and welcome to Morning Markets. Today we're going to be focusing on US economic data and why we continue to see economic resilience. Yesterday we had a bunch of data from the US on the jobs front and also on the services side of their economy. Focusing on the labour market first, what we had known as the ADP report, uh, which looks at how many jobs were added to the US economy over the month. So it's widely followed. What we saw was that 497,000 jobs was added to the US labour market last month, which was uh, an increase from the previous month of 267,000. To provide context with how many jobs that is, over the last six months, uh, the run rate has been on average just over 200,000. So this was a big increase uh, and w well ahead of expectations. It was double what uh, economists were expecting. So that's really good for the US economy in terms of a very strong labour market can help uh, facilitate future consumption. Uh, but it does challenge uh, the potential risk for higher wages and higher inflation. When we look at uh, the voluntary number of workers quitting the workforce uh, and reallocating to, to different jobs. That reached uh, its highest level so, since December. So very strong labour market data which came out yesterday. Elsewhere on the services side, uh, that continued to show real strength. We follow uh, the uh, ISM survey data, widely followed by investors and economists, gives you a timely reading on the services and overall health of the US economy. Looking at the data, it showed that the business activity, new orders, employment all continue to increase and expand uh, and showing no signs of slowdown yet. Improvements on the supply chain index and also price, uh, prices paid continue to fall, which helps build into this disinflation narrative. The challenge for the US market uh, uh, US economy is that it's showing no signs of slowdown despite interest rates being uh, increased aggressively over the last 12 months up to 5.25%. Whilst the labour market and uh, US economy is strong, it does mean that inflation may be stickier and, and may take more time to get back to that 2% target of the Federal Reserve's. In terms of the response from the market, that was initially very weak. Uh, in both US stocks and US bonds as the market begin to price in uh, the prospect of higher interest rates in the future, both ba uh, bad for both. Um, but the, as we progress throughout the course of the day, we saw improvements uh, in both bonds and equities as they regained uh, some of those losses, but still down on the day. Today, we'll get more data on the employment front with the non-farm payrolls. That will, investors will be looking to see if we get a similar reading to what we had yesterday with the ADP report. The two often conflict, so it will be important to watch out for that. We'll also get the employment rate number expected to fall from 37 to 3.6%. That's everything from us today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.